we've got a rise update before we continue hit that like button show your support let's try to get this video past 200 likes and tell me your thoughts in the comment section below because uh very very interesting now to quickly just do this plug this channel has memberships and do not forget that for the first basic tier if you are to pledge an amount make sure obviously you are the legal age 13 and up just to say that for couple of reasons obviously but you will get a shout out at the end of the month meaning if you want a shout out there's a way to do that obviously there's just an optional way to support there's other perks depending on what tier you're on like uh, videos requests stuff like that it, it, it's all explained on the thing and you click joining just things the link in the description plus there's cool badges and emotes just do that quick plug because I always like to do it quick that way nobody's like oh my god you just plug that whole thing for the whole minute or whatever but uh, we got some interesting information so this is I have two opinions mostly actually on the positive side for Hasbro so let's just get it right into it so obviously with Bailey Burst Rise I did not expect this at all so first of all I should say this if any time there is a listing and the name does not look right it's going to most likely 100% be adjusted so I think I, I think it was like with Balkish, it was called Dread Bahamut or Dusk Bahamut or I don't I don't even remember. I just know that one of the names was uh, the TT name or something like that, or it was Diabolos. Diabolos was the one they never changed it. So Hasbro with Hypersphere Knockout Odux 05. I was gonna say Knockout Odin. Honestly, uh, kind of like a big surprise, but then again, they are actually doing. Uh, Lord Spryzen, which I believe is uh, in a two-pack, so I'm kind of alright with this. So if you don't know, Odux never got any evolution, only up until GT, or in this case with Rise. And Knockout actually for TT, I gotta say it was very good, just, you know, really small in the shape, and that's why it really couldn't be used too much, but still, like, it was still very solid. So it came in a, actually, you know, for those who just know about Hasbro and don't know anything about the Japanese product, it was really stupid how TT did it. Really like scummy in my own opinion. So there's like this thing called like the random lair collection. So before, the prize lair would just be there. It would just be the complete prize lair. But since with TT there are three parts to a GT Beyblade, not two, which is, which is what Rise is. There'd be, for Takura Tommy, there's the lair, the weights, and the lair base. With Hasbro, it's just the, the gamma chip and then the gamma base, right? So what they did is that there's like four different or five different maze, whatever, and they just randomized the parts, randomized it, and the layer base, or what, what, what should I call it, the gamma base, was super hard to pull, and so was the chip, and it was so annoying, but I am honestly going to say kudos to Hasbro for actually doing this. I'm, I, I think it, this makes a lot of sense, because I was thinking to myself, you know, Every time when I, every time when you move, like Evolution felt like it had such like a huge volume of content and I thought, okay, Turbo felt like nothing. What's Rise gonna do? Like, are they gonna do the random layers or whatever? And they are. So this could actually, see that's why I'm kind of a little bit iffy because I'm still wondering on Poison Hydra because I still have the, like the, I still have, even though they said, what was it? Hydrax was supposed to be like the, the evolution of Typhon or something like that. I do have this small feeling that Poison Hydra is what Viper Hydrax is and that's how they got around it because it has a similar shape and everything. Hydra, Hydrax. I hope I'm wrong and I hope it's just some dumb name or whatever. Or if it is, that is a big rip because I actually wanted to really see Poison Hasbro version. But uh, back on the topic of discussion, this could also imply that uh, what was it? It was Tax Longinus. So first of all, I should say Tax Lunar or whatever. I'm not, I'm not saying it like that. And maybe what they could do, because this is what they did with... Yeah, so for the Hasbro exclusive, so for example, Kraken, when it evolved, like Sphinx got an evolution and got its own custom Hasbro Rise base. With Kraken, uh, when Kraken got it, it got Cosmo Lair base, which was renamed to Cosmic. So this could mean maybe for Tac, they maybe put it on some another exclusive left spin. Maybe I, I could really see that happening. There is also Flare. I don't know if they're gonna, what, if they're going to do it or what they're going to rename it to. And what, what else was there? There was Cosmo. There's Flare. There's Tack. Oh God! What are they? Are they going to do Naked or could they do it? What they can't call it Naked Sprizen. They for sure can't call it that. Nudity Sprite. Like what are they going to call it? 
they're gonna make they're gonna make it up. They're gonna have to make up a whole new name for it. I don't even now that's that that's gonna be interesting. As far as this, I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm honestly all for it though. I'm really excited to see it. And I'll, I was kind of thinking about it, especially with how Rise works and how Hazard works. I I, I I could be wrong, but as long as they don't really screw up anything, I feel like Knockout should be pretty good for Rise. Like, considering how well it did with uh, TT, I think with Rise especially should be really good. Uh, moving on, uh, this was uh, this one right here. I just wanna get right, get it off. New Diabolos, whatever. I'm just gonna go with its master. And my theory, my headcan is gonna be just this in, until uh, we actually see it. It's either A is just Master Diabolos, or B, Master Diabolos will get one release where it's right and another release where it's left. If, since they can't really do the gimmick where you just flip it. Because that can make the most amount of sense. If you don't know, Diabolos Evolution has a gimmick where you flip the layer base or whatever, the gamma base. I don't think Hasbro can do it, or even if they could, they'll probably just do another one with it, or something else entirely, I don't know, I don't know. Moving on, this one really was a uh, rip. Alright, the localization name is Imperial Dragon D5. I, I thought they were going to change it, but you know, I guess not, I don't know, I thought Imperial, ooh, Imperial, maybe they'll change it. No. It's Imperial Dragon. Now, the thing I keep on saying is that it's hyper. I think, yeah, well, I, it's kind of. Switch Rack is dead, I guess. It's dead. Alright, it's Hyper Hyperspirit, which means Ignition is going to just be Ignition Hyperspirit. Now, I thought for sure they were just going to do a Ripfire release or an RC, or at least Ripfire, man. Ripfire, I thought. I guess not. Since they're doing it as a hypersphere, it's gonna just be a hypersphere version of it. I don't know how they're gonna do it, cause it's gonna be really weird. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I just have like the small. It's probably not, but I just, I just hope they just do rip fire. Cause if you think about it, the rip fire disc or, or the rip fire thing or whatever, are basically what hybrid and ignition are. Just hybrid and ignition are way better than like what Hasbro did with. But you know, they could still have made it work, but uh, I guess not. Whatever. Uh, I guess we're going to wait to see. Uh, I, don't really, I don't even know how they... Okay, I'm just going to make the assumption. If they're not going to do any gimmicks at all because they want to skip it or they're saving costs or whatever what, whatever the excuse is, whatever. Uh, it, it probably, when they do Imperial, it'll just be in the fully awakened mode. I, I just hope they just do that. My thing is going to be this. If you're not going to do the other modes for either the cost or because you don't want to or whatever because the anime accuracy is just like gone at this point, right? Just, just put, just put it in already in the awaken mode, you know. Just, just, just leave it like that. Don't, 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 don't try to like put in like the original one. Don't put in the original one because then I have to be like, oh wow, and Imperial had this gimmick where you could awaken it, but it seems Hasbro only put it in like just regular mode. Because the thing is too, like, it had like the Genesis gimmick where like it had, it had like this or the Sting thing and ugh. whatever. Uh, is it gonna be good? I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, who knows? Actually, you wanna know what? This actually, I can probably say confidently, it probably has will do better than TT in this regard, at least in stock. Because Imperial stock just bursts a lot, so if Hasbro is able to somehow manage, it'll probably be able to beat TT. I, I don't know, it has metal and all this gimmicks, whatever, it's, it's plastic, whatever, and rugby too, plastic. Uh, now, the biggest uh, surprise uh, for me just to see was the localization for Big Bang Genesis. So, Royal Genesis is what Regalia's rename is. The localization appears to be Eclipse Genesis G5. Okay. I'm a little bit confused on the name because I thought they had to keep it with the same letter. Like, you know, like Zone Lunar, right? Why didn't they just keep it to Zvi? Okay, but then after just to Zone. Okay, maybe they're just trying to find the letter Z with the word or whatever. Okay. Then you just got like Eclipse, so now it's just gonna be like, which is really confusing because with Cho Z Eclipse they renamed it to Fusion Aether or something like that. Why and then? Why didn't they just call it Fusion Eclipse and they just called it Aether Genesis? I don't, I don't. This is so weird. It's so weird with the localization of the names. I don't, I don't know. It, it's gonna be Hypersphere. Uh, this really doesn't make a lot of sense. This is also why I'm probably gonna say if you're expecting Hybrid to be exact like TT, don't. A hybrid, hybrid, I don't even know how they're gonna do it. I, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I, I can't guess. What I will probably say now that I'm thinking about it is that the big, you know how they always have like that big summer, the big spring set, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So they had the cross collision, which was the Aether base. So what I'm thinking is that Prime Apocalypse and Royal Genesis will just be slapped onto like a Hypersphere set, since it makes the most amount of sense that they'll just do it like that. Uh, also, it will be a shame, but I do think they're just gonna mold it in with the armor, uh, just because how can, they can't really do the customization. No, it's, they really just can't. They really can't. Now my prediction, I have two different predictions for how they're gonna handle the infinite lock base. One, I think maybe they'll do, or they do it the other way. The other way is that the infinite lock base, okay, both scenarios, I don't think they're gonna have the infinite lock. Both scenarios. I think they'll just make it like a normal piece, all together in the mold and everything, and maybe they could have the armor as an add-on, like how they did with Dread Phoenix, since Dread Phoenix, you know, they still kept the gimmick of the armor. Or, the armor is molded in, or the third scenario, the third scenario, I guess I'm just adding a third one. My idea would be that because they can't handle doing the infinite lock, what they'll do is that they'll make Genesis a GT chip and they'll make Apocalypse a GT chip and they'll make whatever, the, the Eclipse, a G, uh, the, the, the other Genesis thing a GT chip. And then after we'll just have like this weird thing with Hasbro where they have like these gamma chips and you can have like maybe like Prime Valtrek or like Royal whatever or something else i don't know the the infinite lock bays are really weird because i don't know how they're gonna handle it uh so far not really positive probably just gonna do left i don't really care at, at this point uh i don't know how they're gonna do this at all uh extremely positive for this one they can't it's really hard to screw it up like re really really hard to screw it up now the end off for what i think how they're gonna be handling this uh, I believe with how all this is going to work, so wave 1, we know what wave 1 is, we know what wave 2 is, wave 3 would have to be Achilles and whatever, I'm thinking this would be wave 4, this this one, wave 4, because, okay for Turbo, wave 4 was Dread Phoenix, Turbo Achilles, Air Knight, and I don't know, that was it, 4, I think 4. Because there's, there's, I think Achilles and Pegasus will be wave three. I think wave four will be like the the master or whatever. Well, I don't know. That's the thing. I don't know. I think the the last stuff probably wave four. The Achilles whatever wave three. For when this could possibly release? Well, if they're met, if they if if they manage to keep up with Turbo and they manage to do the similar release schedule, we could probably see this. Honestly. Maybe by the summer? Having all these releases, it seems to me that um, Prime Apocalypse and... Um, Genesis will be in the set? Will be being set. Like I just said? Yeah, that's what I think. Because there's nothing... Yeah, there's not. Okay, so back I to... I just search, I cannot find Prime Apocalypse. It means they're going to be in a big set. Okay, so last, uh, last thing to leave off with... Uh, Okay, so the cross collision we found in early early summer, right? When did we find the cross collision again? I'm trying to remember. In June. In June. So probably the same time. Australia. From Australia. Yeah. But like, when did it arrive in Canada, Canada? Uh, okay. Like a week after, so in July. So early summer is when that came out. So I'm trying to think. So probably, but when did we get Phoenix and Achilles? Didn't we get Phoenix and Achilles whatever at the end of the month? I don't even remember. No, Mid-July. Mid-July? Oh. There you go. There you go. So probably just uh, with that. Probably just with that. But that'll be it for now. So thank you all for watching and have a wonderful day.